here at my studio, day number 30, and I can't believe this day is finally here, and, and I'm excited, and I'm nervous, and I have all my emotions going, so I'm I'm proud I was able to do it. I'm, I'm thrilled, and I'm honored and blessed that you guys were here for this ride, and I'm happy I documented it, and there's just so many, just so many little nuances of this challenge that made me a better artist so and a teacher so i'm going to go ahead and just get to the painting part and um see where it takes us today i do feel like there's a pressure though this is like my last one and that's not good because when i'm under pressure i probably don't paint as well so we'll see anyway um i will see you on the paint table i don't know why but i'm thinking coastal i i kind of i i know that a couple people have mentioned they love the ocean and and to some degree, I'm influenced by, you know, I, I of course I want to paint what people love, and but I also did wake up this morning just thinking of the water and what it was or what it means to me or how it makes me feel, and I just love the ocean, so I'm um, honoring that, and I'm going to paint an ocean today, or at least I'm going to try to, and um, that's my intention. That's what I'm going to go into, and the other thing is that. Um, by by again by just doing what first came to my mind that seems to work for me so um, that's what I'm painting so we're gonna see how this turns out so right now I'm just kind of working in my yellows a little bit of I want a little bit of uh, violet in here and so I'm gonna kind of work some of that in and uh, again I'm trying to keep it somewhat simple um, and working in my layers of clouds and I don't want a lot of purple but just enough to where it's not pure white and uh, and just really really laying on those textures so yeah that feels good to me sometimes I have to work things through a little bit longer than I expect and then um, then I like the outcome and I just run with it so I'm feeling good about that I do want to get a little bit more red undertones over here so I'm gonna just scrub in just a little bit and when I say the red, it's more of a red oxide, and um, I'm just going to lightly work that in. Okay, so that feels good to me. All right, so now what I'm going to be doing is working on the horizon line. And um, I'm just kind of laying something out there. It could change, but right now that's kind of the direction I'm going in. And that feels pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna just kind of work in some colors back in here. I'm envisioning for some reason, I don't know why, I'm seeing like maybe, maybe just the whole, I haven't done that yet, maybe just the full beach front here and then the water going back. So, um, so since I'm thinking about that, I might go ahead and just, just kind of lay in that, that shoreline. And then I'll just kind of work back here, I think. So that's what I'm gonna go with. And that, that feels comfortable to me. So now, now I can kind of move forward th with the rest of this. Sometimes I'll work front to back, but usually I kind of work my way from back forward. Um, just because that way I can also work with, in art, you kind of want to be able to balance out your lights and darks, and you want to also be able to compare them because sometimes if something is too dark, it's not that it's too dark, it's what's next to it is too light. So it's kind of a trickery. It's it's an interesting phenomenon, but if you've ever put something dark next to something light that you didn't think was light, all of a sudden it feels a lot darker, right? So that's the same idea with art. Sometimes you have to work in those darks to be able to compare a light to it. And so that's one thing I have learned through the years that, you know, don't, you know, don't just all of a sudden, just because I think it's light, put something next to it to compare and then that way you'll have a better feel for what it what the problem if there is a problem but what it is that's causing you to think that that's what I'm trying to say so again I'm just kind of playing with color and just laying out the idea of maybe some water hitting the sand here kind of mixing in with it and and that that feels pretty good right now and it, like I said that can change and then I'm gonna come back in and now start working in some of this water. And if you remember in the past videos, I, I am um, limited on my color palettes. I chose at the beginning of the challenge um, a combination of seven colors and I stuck with that. 
And the reason for that is I wanted to have a um, consistent, cohesive body of work that also worked in the same color palette, and that's why I chose to do it that way. Um, and the question I think someone had asked is, do I always do that? No, not, no, I don't always do that. But for this challenge, yes, because I wanted to have something um, cohesive. You know, I wanted to kind of, kind of get a body of work working for that. So anyway, right now I'm put, kind of putting in the feeling of water, the ocean, some waves. And sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I do less, just depending on what I'm doing. And right now this just feels right to me, so that's what I'm going with. And um, I'm tucking in my darks again next to my lights. And, uh, you know, working with the current of the waves as they come in, kind of wrapping themselves around. And a lot of times I will come in and really play with the light and dark comparisons so I'll add some back in and I'd like the throwing in just a little bit of lavender so some surprise colors and um, and I know that I want to work some of the the uh, sunset from the back end so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in before I get too muddy I don't want it to get too green or too muddy back in here so in fact I might come in actually just to be safe, I'm going to wipe out just a little bit of this blue. So obviously if I just put in yellow there, it's going to turn green. I really don't want green. And so what I'm going to do is apply some of the uh, red oxide back here first. And just to warm up that area. And I'm going to also put it in here and here. And again, the reason why I'm doing that is because I, I really don't want my yellow to turn too green. Um, and so that's why I'm doing it. So now I can lay in my yellow and I can get that nice glow of the sunset. And parts of it will turn green, but I want this part here to not turn green. And then when I merge it with the blue, then it will kind of change. So at least I know I like that. And um, so I don't know about you guys, I love the water. I love the ocean, mainly the ocean. I love water, but I love the ocean. And um, for a short time I lived in Southern California and I just remember just that was kind of like literally my babysitter. We would go out and I would just be on the water all day long. And those were really fun, fun memories for me. And uh, so that could be partly why. I'm also a, um, I call myself a water baby. I was born in July, so I'm a water sign and that also probably has something to do with it too. So again, I'm just kind of putting in some fun little highlights and I can come back in, take some out, put some back in, but right now this is feeling good to me. And um, now I need to get, start putting in some more of my blue water. And I know that what's in here will merge nicely, so I don't worry about mixing them on my palette because I'm working them in here. Um, if you're new at painting, you might find that a little bit more difficult. And so you can pre-mix your colors. It's not a problem with you that doing that at all. In fact, that's how I used to always do it. But um, for video time and for the sake of this, this challenge, because my time is pretty limited, I'm, I'm doing it this way. But um, could totally do it the other way, no problem. And that would be just fine. So if you feel more comfortable when you paint that way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, this feels good. And now I need to get some of these waves that I want and some other things happening in here. So again, I'm kind of laying in the paint, just kind of working it in. And, um, just kind of going in different directions also because the water in the ocean is always flowing and moving and shifting and um, so I'm really wanting to okay my camera just went dead so I'm gonna put this on hold and charge it and see what happens I thought it was charged but it looks like it's not so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on hold okay so hopefully this is um, charged long enough and 
could have sworn I had it on the charger, but I don't know. Something happened, obviously. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm just uh, working on my um, beach scene here and just getting some warmth into this foreground. And then I will come back in and put my little fun little nuggets of this and that in here. So as I'm applying this um, paint, I'm thinking about, you know, the waves and the directions of the way that they move. And then what I'll do is end up taking my big brush and doing what I usually do, which is the manipulating the paint and merging things and so on. So um, yeah, this feels good. And overall, I like the, the, the feeling of coming back and forth and and that's good. Let me um, merge some of this. I just want to see what happens. I, I don't want it too busy. And right now it feels a little busy. So I'm going to kind of blend some of these together so that I can get a better feel for what's happening with the water movement. So in other words, I'm going to straighten out a few of these areas, lighten up the back so that kind of pulls your eye back. And then, um, there we go. And then I'm going to pull in some of the waves. And um, waves and also just the splashing of the water and that kind of thing. So I'm working on that next. And as I'm doing this also, I'm thinking about, you know, as it's coming forward, how do I want it? So I might have to come back in and and add a few light areas back into the, or even dark areas at times into the water. But overall, I'm, I'm liking the feeling of this and I know that I need to get the water back, but I want the overspray. So I'm trying to get, get some of that splashy overspray in here. And now I can start kind of pulling in the paint again. So the thing with water is you want the idea of some areas to be somewhat transparent, what I call transparent, or the feeling of, of layers of the water hitting each other. Um, and then of course when it gets close to the coastline, you're going to start seeing a little bit more of the sand coming through the sand, So that I mean through the water, so that's why I'm kind of merging this together and then I'll reapply so that's why I'm doing this now because I wanted to get this feeling in here first and then I'll start putting in the actual what I call the foam of the ocean the the white part so so overall I like this feeling this feels a little bit flatter um, this is coming back this is gonna be a wave coming in and then this goes back again so that's Overall, I'm liking this a lot, and I'm just gonna, I don't wanna overwork it, so I'm gonna stop about right here. Now I'm going to come back in and start adding in some of those areas that I was talking about with the foam. And uh, I also wanna get just a little bit lighter in the sunset back here. And again, I want to pull it back in the front. So again, it's kind of a reflect, reflection in the water coming back. And I'm, I'm careful not to merge them too much because like I said, the, the blue and the yellow will turn a green, which is not a bad thing. I mean, a lot of times in the water you do see that, but I, I personally don't want it this time in this painting, so that's why I'm trying to work that back out and it's just a personal thing and there's not a <clears throat> excuse me there's not a right or wrong I just I just don't want it in this right now so that's all okay I need some more paint here okay so I'm going to just work in a darker area back in here and then I'll pull the light back on it again. So sometimes, you know, in art, you have to kind of work things through. 
um, you know, don't give up and just keep, keep, a, keep chugging along here. Because actually sometimes all those little nuances of layers that you've applied are actually kind of a cool thing. They actually make the painting, I think, more interesting a lot of times. So I don't take them out, I work with them. And, um, and it usually makes for, I think, a better painting. So you can see I'm just kind of, again, brightening up. It just got a little, little too muddy for me. So I'm getting some of these back in. Okay, and now I'll start with my blue again. Boy, I'm going through the paint today. But again, my whole purpose of this is thick paint, the expression of water, working with um, the whole expression of how I feel about the painting. So again, It's an intuitive thing more than anything else. I'm not looking at a photograph. But I've spent many times in the ocean, so I do have a feeling or an expression of how I feel when I'm at the, at the beach. So that's what I'm getting in here. So in my mind, what's happening is they're getting, I'm getting more chopped up in here than I want. So that's why I'm working on that. Getting a little bit lighter in color because I want it to have a glow. So I'm gonna start working in my lights. That feels really good. I like that. I like how this can turn into more of an aqua. I like how this has a real nice uh, soft glow in the back. And then you have your darker area in here. Um, and this is actually a really pretty color. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I want to just lightly. So I'm going to need a different brush here. And um, here we go. So I just want to lightly merge these together. You know, painting is a lot like dancing. You just got to kind of kind of go with the flow and let let the brush take control, kind of like your dance partner. Um, instead of you trying to control it. Sometimes the brush has to take over. Okay, so that feels really good. So now I wanna get these frothy snow, snow, <laughs> frothy waves in here. And so again, I, I want it to be a pretty big wave, so I'm just gonna put in a big slab here, and then I'm going to pull it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I have kind of a thick layer there. And in the water, a lot of times you'll have kind of a hard, a little bit of a hard edge at first, and then these are rolling over. So, um, rolling over and under. So what I'm going to do is these will pull, these will actually pull dark behind it. Um, how do I explain that? So I'm putting some dark paint, but then pulling back, if that makes sense. So then, and then this part is gonna be moving forward and I might need a different brush. That's the problem with these videos is I don't have time to wash the brush or clean the brush in between. So sometimes I need to do this off camera, but I'm gonna try while you're, I'm on camera so you can get a feeling for what I'm doing here. And again, I'm just kind of playing in the paint. I probably will have to go in afterwards and just do a little doctoring here and there because it's too hard to do right here. But, but you get the idea and there's usually what I call the cavity or the dark part of the wave underneath it is being shadowed. So I'm gonna kind of get that in there. And then when it pulls out of the, the, the uh, wave, then it becomes bright again because what's happening is some of the water has already hit. So it's in this area in here that's already hit the water. 
So now I'm going to take this in and kind of play with that. So you, you're getting some of the water falling down into that. So, And if this were dry, I would have done this later and then added that. But because of time and because of the fact that, you know, it's on video and so on, I have to work differently. But if, if you're at home, you can take your time doing this part, which, which I would recommend. Maybe wait for the paint to dry a little bit. I guess it depends on how you work. Everyone's different. I That's how I would do it, but some people are fine with doing it that way. Um, and again, I want to kind of, at the end, I think I'll brush over this again. But right now, I'm just going to let that be how it is. And then I'm going to take another area in here and just lighten up that too. And I'm putting a little bit of a kind of a greeny, greeny color because I want to just lighten up this part in here where it's kind of merging and hitting the sand. And then I'm going to pull in another area of dark again. And I wouldn't say dark, but just the blue in here. And that would be just kind of where it's kind of in shadow pulling it in. And see I'm kind of working it into the, I call it the foam or the froth. And then tucking even some under here because as it's, again, there might be an area underneath the froth where it's getting darker. And then I'll come back in again. Tap, 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 get some froth in here. And again, see how it's turning blue? It's because I didn't, didn't let it, you know, I just don't have the time to let it dry. But I actually think it will be fine. I'm just gonna kind of play with this right now and see what happens. And again, I'm just gonna now, I'm gonna just start with my big brush now. And since I know that this is probably the part that needs me to get the most attention, I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. And then I'm gonna pull it this way. And what, I, what, I, what I'm doing is working with the direction of the wave or how I envision it coming in to the shore. And then I'll maneuver again once more into this just for lightly kind of scrub not scrub but kind of just play with it so you have that tumbling feeling the tumble of the water and that and then with this part I'm going to go with the wave so so the wave would be crashing around so um, let me make sure this is nice and clean and I think um, the trick with this is just not to overdo it. So I'm gonna to try to do one area and just see what happens. And then, you know, just having that feel of this coming in and the sand. And overall, um, just a great, you know, this has been a great experience. I, I wish that, it sounds like my camera wasn't on. I don't know what happened, but um, I have no idea what happened. So we're gonna make this just, we're gonna finish up here and I'll talk a little bit about it, but I, I like I'm enjoying the the ocean and the feel of the simplicity of it. I haven't done much as far as scratching in like I sometimes do on this one, only because I don't feel it really calls for that. So if I feel like something calls for that, then I obviously I would be doing that. I don't think this one really calls for that. So I'm just gonna leave this the way it is and I'm happy with that. Um, I hope you can see it on camera. It's really fun. I, I like how everything turned out. Um, and again, I'm just kind of rolling, rolling with the waves here. Just keeping it light and airy. It's actually kind of a, a nice moody, almost a moody scene. I do want to get some of that sunset, just a little bit, just a little bit more of the yellow in the back here, maybe in the front. So let me try and do that on camera. Um, since now I think it's on, <laughs> we will find out. Um, so again, I'd just like to pull that back into the viewer's eye here. And my my thinking was, is I didn't want it to get too green. I know that water and the 
and the yellow when they mix can go that way, but I think I can control it by adding some white and a little bit of the red oxide again. So we'll see. I, I do like that though, that's pretty. And then I just wanna to touch right here in the sand area, just to bring your eye right to the front, right where the light would be hitting it. And yeah, that's good. And what I'm gonna do now is just get right back in here. I wanna just warm that up. First, I'm gonna add some white just to brighten it. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of that red oxide again. And hopefully, hopefully this will do it and I'll just add a little bit of yellow back on top. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, and then these I'm gonna have again on my website and on my blog if you're interested. They are going to be available for a short time. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna have them framed myself and do something kind of cool with them. Um, but they are going to be available for a while, so. There we go. I'm liking that. I get some real light back in here. And like I was saying before, you know, ocean paintings to me, you kind of have to dance with them a little bit because they are moving in so many different directions. And if you try to control the waves, they're gonna resist. So you kind of have to let your brush do the thing. So overall, I love it. It looks good, I'm excited. Happy you are here today to experience this with me. I appreciate you always. And you have a lovely day. And I'm gonna do a takeaway here in a minute and just talk about this journey. All right, talk to you soon, bye. Okay, done with number 30. I can't believe it. Um, I I can't tell you how, how, um, how much emotion has gone through this. I actually kind of broke away for a while and not, not cried, but just kind of just took in everything for a moment because everything just, even though it was 30 days and I had time to think about things, I really didn't. And I think I chose not to because I didn't want to get too um, worked up or, or feel the pressure to, to complete this, but I did it. So that's cool. And I'm so happy you were here and it means the world to me. And my takeaways for this whole entire challenge is just you know, set forth the best you can be, you know, paint what you love, uh, you know, just don't ever give up, um, and, and just know that there's other artists out there just like you are for me right now that are there to support you, and that, that's so important to know, and, um, and just that whole community of support is great. So anyway, thanks so much. I ended up like, you know, you saw I did a seascape scene and it turned out pretty good. It, it's funny, I, I do feel like it probably wasn't my best because I had so much pressure on me. I, I felt like, I don't know, I kind of got a little lost in the whole th last 30 day thing. So anyhow, I hope you like it. And um, thanks so much again for, for being here throughout this whole challenge. and. If you see something that you like or you want to go on my website, NicoleSlater.com and check them out in person, that would be great. All right, take care. Thanks again. Bye.